Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zautus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to resize video in CupCut PC. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be fairly new into CupCut or in CupCut PC and you're wondering how do you do this basic things in CupCut. Well, in this case, resizing video and adjusting your aspect ratio is actually pretty easy. So first things first, go ahead and open up CupCut here and create a new project. So I've already created my new project here. Let's go ahead and start adding our assets. So I have this video here that I want to use. So let's go ahead and import it into our assets and import it into our timeline. Now what we need to do first is we need to uh, basically start editing the aspect ratio of our video. So maybe you want to uh, make a TikTok video out of the uh, assets that you have right now. So in this case, at the player section here, this is where you'll be able to see the preview of your project or your video. You should be able to see a ratio at the bottom right of your screen. So whenever you click on it, it should give you this following pop up here. So what we need to do is we need to choose the appropriate uh, size that you want to use. Like for example, if you're going to post for, like for example, you're creating a YouTube video, I would suggest you to try using the 16 by 9 size here. But if you want, if you're going to create a video for TikTok or for YouTube Shorts or in other uh, format that is in vertical, you can go ahead and click on this one and choose the option here that actually represents that, which is 9 by 16. Now you could also do 5.8 inch here if you want to, but in this case, we'll be using 916. Now in this case, the actual video would actually still be fitting the whole screen here. So what if you want to start editing the actual video and not the aspect ratio of your uh, clip here? So there are two ways to, for you to actually start editing your actual video here. So typically when you click on an asset here, so whenever you're clicking on the timeline or the specific video that you have on your timeline, the following options or properties should now be available to you. Now in this case, you could actually change the scale of your video here. As you can see, we were able to fit this specific person here on the actual video and it fills now the whole screen of that video. Now, if you want to uh, move it around, you could go ahead and just change the values for the position or even rotate your video here if you want to. So in this case, you might be wondering, what is an easier way for you to do this? Well, you could actually go to your player here. And as you can see, there are going to be different points that you will, you'll be able to see on your video. So we have one, two, three, four points. In this case, whenever you press on one of these points, it will actually, this would actually change your cursor, which, which in this case, you could just basically resize your video. By pinching in, you'll be able to make your video a lot smaller, and pinching out would actually give the video a lot bigger uh, a view on it. Now, in this case, if you click on the rotating icon here, this will actually rotate your video and basically help you reposition your video here. But in this case, that's how you resize your video in CupCut, and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.